Well, I sure was glued to that open AI drama last weekend, like it's a soap opera. But we're not going to get into that here, because this is about open source AI models on open source operating systems where we don't have to deal with corporate drama. So let's get into it. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My following is growing quickly for such a small channel, and I appreciate that. Thank you. So today we're going to be running a chat GPT style web user interface for open source Llama models. We're going to do it through Olama using the Olama web UI. This tutorial is going to assume that you already have Olama installed. If you don't, you're going to have to go and watch the video that I made about that. It's a pretty quick, clean installation on Linux. I got it running on Ubuntu and Garuda, which is Arch based. The link for that video is in the description. If you haven't seen that yet, watch that video, then come back to this one. So what we're going to do is go over to GitHub and we're going to go to the Olama web UI and I'll have this address in the description so you can click on it. It looks like this is ChatGPT style. So if you have Olama running, this is a nicer way to interface with it because by default, the Olama interface runs through the terminal and it works, but it's not really like a clean looking organized interface. When I did a test on a different computer, I got this running in Docker. So you're going to have to have Docker installed to begin with. So to get Docker installed, I'm going to type in sudo snap install docker. All right, Docker's good to go. So the first thing we have to do is clone this repository. So we're going to take the web address get clone repository address. We're going to let it download. So now we can go into the Llama web UI and we can see all the files there that we just downloaded. We already have Olama installed here. So we're going to skip down to if Olama is hosted on your local machine and accessible via 127.0.0.1 clone 11434, which it is. We can run this command to get Olama going through the web UI through Docker by copying this command, pasting it into the terminal while we're in the Olama web UI directory. And it says permission denied. I got that on the other computer also. So we'll have to do this Chief Captain Commander way. Let's do do. There we go. It is containers running now, and there's the container ID. So we're going to just head over to localhost on port 3000 through the web browser, and there we are. And you should be able to pull this down and see all the models that are installed. So I'm on an RTX 3080. The biggest model that I can run is a 30B. And I mean, let's just go to Mistral latest. That's a 7B model. And we'll type something in. You are a good generative pre-trained trans former and not a waste of compute resources. Mr. Roll is thankful for my compliments. We know this works. So the next step we're going to do is get this running on a remote computer because supposedly you can access the IP address for this computer from another computer on the LAN through port 3000 on the web browser. Uh, according to the documentation, this will run on localhost and also binds to the LAN IP address. There's two ways to run it from a remote computer. You can access it through the IP on port 3000 through the web browser, but you can also install this web UI on a separate computer and you can go into the settings and under a llama server, you can put a different address in. So it works either way. You can access the UI through the web browser or install the UI on their other computer and give it the address of your llama server. So I'm going to head over to the other computer and we're going to give that a test. All right, so I've installed Olama Web UI on a computer that's running Ubuntu as a virtual machine. So I went through the same installation instructions, and I'm going to localhost port 3000 on the remote computer, and you can see that I've entered the URL of the computer that has the Olama server with the port, and then you have to put that backslash API in there. That's important. Let's give it a prompt. I'm on a different computer now. Are you there? 
and whoops, we have to select a model, so let's do that. Send it, and there it goes. From a remote computer, we've accessed Llama over the LAN using the web UI. The other way to do it is the Olama web UI is running on port 3000 on the server, and you can just open up the web browser, type in the IP address of the server where Olama and the web UI are running on port 3000, and it'll do the same thing. And this is probably even easier. I just wanted to show that there's two ways to do it depending on what your needs or preferences might be. But of course, the obvious way is to just access it over the web browser like this. Just checking in, how's the weather? And of course, an AI system does not experience weather, so it has no idea. But you get the point, it works. So there you go, I appreciate you watching. Thank you, I know you got a lot of AI content to watch. There's a lot going on in the space. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch my channel. I'm gonna be doing this every weekend. So if you want to tune in, we're going to dive deeper and deeper into running your own open source AI systems on Linux. So have a good one. Take care.